closer look, several people are visiting the aquarium when a carp burps and spat out a human skull. They were stunned. Soon the police arrived at the scene. The police started to look for it in the water in their swimming costumes. In the middle of two rocks, they found the bones of a fish that had been eaten almost to death. At first the police thought the victim was one of the keepers. The staff told Jack that apart from a water purifier that had recently been lost, there was nothing unusual in terms of people. The police then took the skeleton back to the station. The forensic pathologist was able to deduce from the distinctive features the deceased should be a middle-aged male. At this point, the coroner noticed that the leg bones of the deceased, there were many fish teeth marks on it. They guessed that the victim had been eaten by a predatory fish. In addition, they found a special piece of brain coral on the bones of the deceased. This coral has a very short growth cycle. Every time it grows, it produces a mark. From this, the forensic scientist was able to determine the victim must have died in the early hours of last Monday morning. Based on the DNA of the deceased, they soon found out the real identity of the victim. It turned out